From New York City, it's the showcase for the best young classical musicians in the country. From the top, live from Carnegie Hall. Tonight, a 12-year-old violinist, originally from Poland, passionately interprets the music of one of her countrymen. It's one of the greatest things, I guess, that I could do. And we'll meet a fantastic string quartet from Ohio. Beyond music, these teen boys are heavy to sports cars and video games, like all other members of their species. <laughs> and our finale, the great music of Brahms. Exclusive corporate funding for From the Top Live from Carnegie Hall is provided by Liberty Mutual. Major foundation funding is provided by the Bernard Osher Foundation, supporting the arts, higher education, and the pursuit of lifelong learning. Additional funding is provided by the Jack Kent Cook Foundation, helping young people of exceptional promise achieve their full potential through education. Helen and Peter Bing, and the National Endowment for the Arts. And here is our host, concert pianist Christopher O'Reilly. Thank you, and welcome, everybody. If you are new to chamber music, if your iPod had Beyonce on it, then Beethoven, for instance, this is the show for you. <laughs> because you can't have a better introduction to chamber music than the Ravel String Quartet and a Brahms Piano Quintet. Both are stunning pieces of chamber music, and they'll be played brilliantly later on by some very engaging teenagers. But first, I want you to meet a fabulous 12-year-old musician. Please welcome Anya Filohovska. Anya, tell everybody what we're going to play together. We are going to play Vavinyavsky Polonaise in D major. The Polonaise, I mean, this is a national dance of, of Poland. You've, right. you've not only played Polonaise, but you've danced the Polonaise. Right, at the beginning of school years, and also Polonaise is dance at the beginning of big events. So, she knows what she's doing, okay? <laughs> when you're ready, Anya, we will take it from the top. Okay.
fantastic. Anya, you left Poland to study music in this country, but obviously Poland did not leave you. It's, uh, the piece was so, so much a part of you. But when you came to this country, you didn't come alone. Who came with you? My mom and my older brothers. And are they musicians too? Yes. Your brother plays, mm -hmm. brothers play what? Violin and viola. She must be, they're all very proud of you. Tell everybody who your teacher is. My sir, Itzak Perma and Miss Chow. It's, it's like Perlman, I've heard of him. <laughs> now, that's probably as good as it gets. I mean, what's he like as a teacher? First of all, it's like Perlman is Polish, first of all, yes? Yeah, so yeah, his parents were from Poland. Yeah. And he knows a few words, so yeah? it's really nice. <laughs> so what, what is he like, or the, the way that he teaches? How has it changed the way, let's say, you react to performing? Yeah, like a long time ago, I thought of a performance, good or bad, if I made a mistake or not. Mm -hmm. But now it changed totally because I think that if I connect with the audience well and if the audience likes it, it's very important. And I think that's a wonderful distinction. I think you connected with the audience. We can probably say that that's uh, true. <laughs> well, the music is so much a part of you, and it just comes pouring out. And it was just wonderful to hear you play the Thank Polonaise. You. An honor to play with you. Thank you. Thank Anya. you very much. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Anya Kulahowska, 12-year-old violinist from Frankfurt, New Jersey.